Go! Okay! We're back, and finally mission one is done. Only took two episodes. Nothing here. So, let's explore the ship. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or explore some of it. Go talk to people. So, seems like a pretty big ship. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot for me. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Paragon! Yay! Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the loop? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Peyton's lucky. He just gets migraine. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. How did you end up serving on a Malayan ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity oh, needs the Alliance <laughs> if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I don't think he'd seen the get before, though. They haven't been outside the Perseus Vale in 200 years, so... Probably not. Yeah, you know, maybe. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. I guess he doesn't have anything to say. No, I'm male. Ah, so that's how it is. Yeah, you, talk, you get to actually talk with your love interest, or potential love interest. Not romancing Ashley on this run, though. Interesting. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. <laughs> Look at 
Look at that monster. That's what that's what it's going to rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing is on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Which means they have uh, at least 422 docks. Yep. Just dash. A station this size probably has millions. Like, like, let something sink in. We're docking on that ring. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate. They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> right. We could do all that, or we could just go side questing. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> and to be fair, that politician does have enough reasons to be upset. I mean, yes. But he's still a politician. Five reasons like that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Unusual readings in the Argos Row cluster. Hmm. Mark that for later. Casually going every direction except the one you're supposed to, as we do. Let's go this way. And go this way. Mm, go through the other one in a minute. Yes, the wonders of Shandification, right? Still don't, still haven't seen that video. I'll show it to you after <laughs> we finish this recording session, I guess. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. I bet you did too. What are you? Oh, Commander. <laughs> is there something I could do for you? Relax, Private. This is. His phone changed quickly. Right. Oh, sorry. yeah. What can I do for you, Commander? <laughs> what can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh. Well, she's an Asari who works here, as. That is, she helps people with things. You never want to say, right. did you, Fredericks? <laughs> I, uh. No, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. <laughs> Have fun, that is. <laughs> Have fun, that is. I could go talk to her. 
But I'm not. Huh. It's safe to assume that if I don't do something right away, there's probably a reason for it. Fair enough. Hello, you. I'm sure I'll find out what the reason is. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious, always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Uh, never mind. Yeah. Forget it. <laughs> Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between them. It does not sound like he likes it either. Understand I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. Tell me about your investigation into Sip. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Touche. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. There, time to yeah, yeah. Back. Makes sense. Yes, 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 yes. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Gimme. Doesn't need to give away details if you if you just grab them for yourself. I don't I actually don't know what's here. Untraceable account the multiple recipients across the extranet. Andre is one you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared flight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We stand together and build our own new world in the Hawking Ada cluster. Hmm. Do you have like a quest log or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you won't have to actually remember each location. God no. You read all that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh in fact, because of how much random stuff is in this game and how hard it is to try and remember it all, even with the quest log, I've actually install something that basically marks all the stuff I found on the map, so I don't have to constantly check my, uh, my quest log. That's nice. Oh, what's here? Codex entry. Uh, I don't have time to figure out what it is. <laughs> yeah. On one side, I'd like to get you to play La Mulana sometime, on the other side, I'm, I doubt it's gonna be good. It would be your kind of game anyway. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals. <laughs> Should you require assistance? Give me the tour. Sounds you useful. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the mm -hmm. first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council Thanks. gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Well, considering humanity kicked Kick the Turians around, who have the biggest military in the Citadel space. Yeah. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? 
In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, <coughs> apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide economic aid in times of disaster. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Lesser species? Question mark. That's pretty damn arrogant. <laughs> I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Once again, the, what the button says and what he actually says don't match up. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. well, you know, Goodbye it's just a man. It doesn't exactly. Please enjoy your visit to the I was referring more towards lesser species. Yeah, I, that's why I'm just referring to the. Uh, like it doesn't exist. The AI also doesn't exactly matter. Well, it's not even a full AI. It's what's called a VI, which is basically an AI, but really fucking dumb. Basically. Like, it hasn't. It's not self. It's self aware enough to know that it's a VI. But it's not truly self aware. Yeah. Because. It's kind of like those chatbots in various. Uh, so, so, I so. guess. Like, not the ones in this code, but there are some, like, other chests that just have yeah. that. Uh, I know what you're referring to. Yeah. I mean, maybe Discord has some of those with the kind of pop world, but, you know. How should I know? It's not like Keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating. Hmm. I haven't seen a keeper yet, but... Yeah, you have. Right there. Oh. <coughs> okay. <laughs> well, from the description, I thought they were robotic, but I guess not. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Can't I just go in? Can't, can't loop I'm it afraid again. not. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort. What's wrong with Yeah. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. <laughs> three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Melina. She sounds nice. Yes, Shaira. Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. What? Yes, of course, mistress. <coughs> She's interested in speaking with us, though. So I would say. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Do the others actually wait for you this time? No, they follow. Well, 
Yes, she's seeing three people this time. <laughs> Salarian. I mean, can't tell you with that. Salarian? That's a Salarian. I'm just kind of pointing out the different races. Uh, Enviro suit over there is a Volus. Oh, uh, yeah. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a pilot back on Earth. The one human that works here. Yeah, well. But they have some diversity, right? <laughs> that sounds almost too specific to their, to our current times, not I think. Uh, <laughs> that is the aliens actually having to force inclusion on the humans with it. <laughs> What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. You literally just arrived. I Come on. I <laughs> to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Oh, no. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can <laughs> convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. She's a little touchy. It is part now of her job description. You I have many clients waiting to see me. I mean, remember what those troopers were talking about. Uh, sometimes she, you just can just go and talk to her. It doesn't have to get physical. Yeah, yeah. But it can be, so it's part of her job description. <laughs> There's a map button. Cool. Yeah, that's for me. Uh, uh, back. Okay. What's that X icon, by the way? Uh, it's in a Vena terminal. X's are points oh. of interest. Okay. So we can just go along here. Oh. Okay. Uh, up, um. Aren't the arrows literally just pointing you to where you need to go? No, they point you towards specific things. Ah, okay. Just wondering since it's not like there was a specific name or anything on top of the arrow, it was an arrow. Exactly. If you get close enough to him, it should uh, tell you where it goes when you highlight it. I'm rather interested about the keepers. Caden has something to say about the statue, at least. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. Chill out, Ashley. Sure is peaceful here. Caden, Caden. If you're gonna make a Krogan statue, you might as well make it big. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. Yeah. Wait, which one's with the Krogan again? Uh, do I have the codex entry on them yet? Again. Nope. You'll know Krogan when you see it. Fair enough. You ever heard of Too Polite? That's this guy's race. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. I like this guy. <laughs> Who are you? 
This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. It's literally a big jellyfish. Yeah. I like it. Okay, time to sell some of this stuff. <coughs> oh yeah, you have a... Ram, a bit of stuff. We, we have a, like a 200 and something item limit in our inventory. I don't know. He's really been getting a lot that is telling of how many different party members you can get this one. Yeah. You know, early game spoiler. Not yeah, you know, details. Ooh, search a foundation license. Bye. What is that actually do? Uh the Normandy has a quartermaster that who can order stuff. The more licenses you get, the bigger his stock. Uh, Basically, it's permission to sell their shit. Or acquire so it. It's a store expansion update. Basically, yeah. Okay. Oh, over there. Mm -hmm. The fact that I can actually remember some of the um, uh, idle chatter points is kind of sad. <laughs> Yay. I vaguely recall seeing some games that had mechanics like that. I don't remember which games, but I don't know. So, art doesn't normally do much for me, but that relay statue, I like. Yeah, it's a mass relay statue. Mm -hmm. Anyone else hear that low hum? Sounds like it's coming from that statue. It's my teeth. Hmm. So it's, fun it's technically functional. Well, if it's functional, it sure ain't turned on. Probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, I don't need a frigate warping in through here. So I don't... What's that bug thing over there? What's it doing? So am I the only one who thinks that the relays look a whole lot like weapons? They're basically big mass drivers. That's how they work. They accelerate things into faster than light speeds. Yeah. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. You are standing near the base of the Citadel Tower. Like, I'm pretty sure it looks like a weapon is in that other game before. And important mm. Maybe Halo? No. Behind no. Me is the you would recognize him if that, if that was the a case. A scale model representation mm. of a Prothean mass relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic caretakers of the Citadel, working on a control panel. You may see keepers involved in various tasks throughout all levels of the Citadel. We ask that you do not interfere with them in any way. The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. I'd like oh to know my. more about the keepers. Little is known yes, about the yes, peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Any particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. In other words, we don't know what they are, but they seem to keep the place running, so we don't. L so we make sure nobody gets That's in their way. Fair Thank enough. you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I don't know, it seems kind of sus. I was about to say, like, 
part of me finds them very interesting. The other part of me finds them very suspicious. Because that's uh, literally a line. One faction to full control over the <laughs> yeah. galaxy's most powerful ship. That's a uh, station. Yeah. <laughs> They're not gonna ask me any questions, are they? We've made our reports. All we gotta do now is just trust the ambassador. No, we don't, sir. Hmm. We've Bye. seen one of them before. We've seen that guy before. Saren's okay. hiding something. Yeah, the executor. Give me more time. Stall. Um. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Checking for anything else. Nothing out. Nothing else here in this segment. Hello, little keeper. Just sitting there. Yeah, that's strange. Too bad you can't actually interact with it since it's. Technically, not doing any work. <laughs> the hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. Yeah, I figured that would happen. It wouldn't be so easy. Of course. We could have been the mistake model. bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. 
to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Sarah. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that, Lizard. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wall. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Hmm. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bit. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren. But his information won't come cheap. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or shields. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. You don't think much of Hart. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. The guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting. I wonder, is it, uh, has Anderson's voice sound familiar to you yet? Kind of know that you mentioned it. It's the Arbiter. Tell me about Barlow. Huh. Yep. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows You're everything. right, it's the same voice, but they speak so differently. Yep. <laughs> Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Yep, Keith David. Hmm. I want to know more about the specters. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems that counsel. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. With him gone, things are still up in the air. Hmm. Lost the one about him and Saren. I should go. Oh. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Oh well.
Wait, he's willingly going to go spend time with the ambassador? I know, right? He's making such a great sacrifice for us. Right? What's up, Ash? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. She's not wrong. Lots of colors. This place is like this, isn't it? Hmm. More of a... Look, like if you're up here, you got so much cover, and they've got to go uphill against you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I took one look at the stairs as you go up there. It's like this is gonna be a fight level, isn't it? The one over by the keeper. <laughs> what? Oh no, I wasn't. Yeah, that's the Yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? Well, I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. <coughs> so long, and good luck with the scanning. <coughs> Free credits! Um, so we do get to learn more about keepers. Cool. I've never actually finished the subquest, so I don't know what you get out of it. Solarian. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I was a Solarian. Think fast, talk faster. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> They're always scientists. Sounds like fun. Commander. Hmm, that was gonna say to me. Okay then. Yeah, the only downside to Solarian's fast paced body is uh they only last like forty years. Hmm? Uh Solarians don't last very long. Um, they have a hyperactive metabolism. They don't fast, leave fast, die fast. Candle that burns twice as bright. Yeah. That's it. Oh, no. Did you hear me on something? Why are we suddenly in combat? Walk, w walked out, and two guy and a couple guys came at me. So I didn't actually miss anything, it was, nope. it was just that sudden. <laughs> yep. Someone doesn't like us. No shields. I'm glad that you, but you have powers. Yeah. I do too. I guess you wouldn't be very used to playing an infiltrator, huh? <laughs> Alright, I give him a Caden says that they're Saren's men, which means Saren knows we're on him. He knows the he knows the routes we're taking. I always thought that was weird though, because I never really get anything outside of that one. Mm. I see why this place is so popular. It's got quite the. Uh... <laughs> a million light years from where humanity began, and we walk into a bar filled with men doing over half naked women shaking their asses on the stage. The side of that's funny or sad. What? You don't think they're here because of the food? <laughs> I mean, food, food for the ice is still full. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, there's a general we need to talk to. Yeah, and, they drug, and I saw Drogon back there. Yep. What's bothering you? You were right, they were quite easy to recognize. The 
there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! <laughs> Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, ah, war. That's what this feels like, all right. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and <laughs> act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say so you're a bright That's feeling when you need two showers. <laughs> What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. <laughs> Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. We'll exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hmm. Oh, I like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. <laughs> Ah, okay. But the least I'm not sure is if that's actually for showing. Yeah, that's yes. more for. Has told us to take you down. Like, you show them. Down. What are you waiting for? I'm standing yes. right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe. This is what? Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way. Hello, Tank. What was that all? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I just wanted to talk to this button. asshole. Yeah, well, like, party members were there. I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> You must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Sarah. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him up? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? <laughs> I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. You got them. As well, spread them around. Here, okay. Just not uh, that kid. It. <laughs> eh. Just tell me where Garris was. Garris was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. As I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me Yep. Yeah, that's a good place to. That's a good place to save this episode. Yeah, it was about to. <laughs> <laughs> Blurp.